Hey Mimi Shirley lovers, happy Sunday to you all. Welcome to Sail with Mimi Shirley Mimi. To my darling MVPs, how are you all doing? Kisses. Mm -hmm. To my intended subscribers, please do not view and pass. Pause. Subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because that's how you get the gist. I see they hurt. So guys, I don't know why I feel so indifferent about today's eviction sincerely like the way i have been feeling like today's feeling is different from other sundays like i have a feeling that some of your favorite parents will be going home today and it's gonna be a painful one you know i feel the house is going to be lonely after this week eviction because i think it's going to be different from the normal eviction like i think it's not gonna be one pair going i think it will be like two pairs going today you know and we know we are enjoying all the housemates which of the pairs do you think will be going let me know in the comment section so guys after the party yesterday meanwhile give it up for dj toy okay he really didn't make sense yesterday so Kanaga's boots and blue ever skirt has been causing wahala on the social space. <laughs> like an official all social space to date is Kanaga's junior shoe and blue ever. You can spot the shoe, right? And you can spot blue ever skirt. Coaches and la posted that the person that sent me this will not make heaven. I did my own no. After that post, it has been raining chicken skirt, chicken skirt on the social space. It has been attack from one from the fans to another like i was like oh my goodness is this what we we're supposed to be discussing <laughs> it's actually funny it's been raining chicken skirts some people are saying blue is losing fans and all that okay fever said blue ever's handler once tweeted over here we only beg for votes same night cozy knelt down to apologize to yemi her fans chilled the handler. Now, Kosi's handler posted something related to Blue Skirt, and her fans are crying in the comment section. You all are hypocrites. <laughs> I actually remember that. Yeah, that, that day Kosi knelt for Yemi. She posted it. Um, now, fans fight, they happen now. So, guys, after the party, yeah, Kosi was discussing with Yemi, telling Yemi that. That she's going to feel lonely if Yemi leaves the house. That because for her she is not going anywhere. Now in my thoughts, I was like, even if you're not going, the same way you said you're not going anywhere, why did you not say something for Yemi? She was like, she's going to be lonely. That Olivia tried to get getting to know her, but that it didn't work. You know, I was like, since you are so confident that you are not going, you can still proclaim that for your own guy. That he will not go. Guys, eh, these housemates, eh, <laughs> sometimes when I look at them, I will say, ah, this one again. And I don't know now. Now some of the fans are reading that words the other way around. Because, yes, if you check it the way she puts it, it's as if she will not go. Yemi will, she will stay and Yemi will go. Yes, we all know that Kosi have fans, okay? But in as much as she do have fans, she does not know about it, okay? She does not know about the outside happenings. She only knew about what's happening in the house. So as she proclaimed that she's not good, she would have done the same for him. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, not like, she might not mean it that way, but she would have done the same. JJ Black said, Kosi wants Yemi out and she's acting that she will not have anyone to talk to. The way she will move to Tabank like Yemi didn't exist in that house. What do you think, guys? <laughs> ha! Sometimes uh, to analyze these housemates and their game, eh, it is heavy me for mouth because, ah, guys. Guys, some of the housemates are really deep in playing their games. Meanwhile, I'm, I still keep saying it. The way she proclaimed, affirmed that she is not going, she would have done the same for her man. It's as simple as that. Not saying if he goes, that she will feel lonely. You know, to jail for a year now. So, yeah, yesterday, I same after the party. Juicy J had some moments with Nana at the laundry area. They had some conversation with Nana's ship, with Black Boy, and another some conversation about Yvonne. So after their conversation, Nana came back at least to relay results to her COVID member. But meanwhile, while they were having the conversation, Nana was telling her COVID members that Kosi and Tabang really have a team. That people might not see it, but they really do have a team. Hmm. They were just discussing it. And you know when it comes to Tabang, 
Olivia is always interested. So Nana was just telling them some of the scenario why she said what they have, okay, on how the eye contact Sabang and Kosi shares together, the way the feelings they have, as in she was like the feeling is deep to compare to what they have what she have with maybe other of the housemates like when they connect like they connect on a different notion like even the way Kosi run her hand on Taban's body that everything seems to be different okay meanwhile after that you could see the way this is Olivia Taban and Blue Eva after the party okay Taban was like acting like it was not even interested in the conversation Olivia see the way Olivia was trying to choke him, you know, I actually know Olivia really do like Tabang. How are we say Tabang? Greek, 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 and space make me enjoy only bank ship now, but that one didn't work. And because it didn't work, Olivia keeps disturbing our ears, saying she doesn't want to have anything to do with anybody in the house, she doesn't want to have anything to do with anybody in the house. Hmm. But we all know she really do like Tabang. But do you know the funny thing that happened here? Do you know after everything, Tabang stood up, go and fetch Nelisa, even kissed her in olivia's presence and the viewers were like ah what's all this one now that see what is happening see this shit that what kind of thing is this like like going like going raving my life uh -uh, that means you don't even value her do you understand so this was just it was just the same viewers of like olivia has, she has had enough okay Meanwhile, these two, they're going to just the pepper us with, <laughs> with relationship, this thing, you know. But there was something Taxi said. <laughs> well, anyways, when while we're doing all uh, for their, you know, their love display, there was something Taxi said to Miracle and Epelen. She said that no matter how the two of them sleep on the same bed, that, that doesn't, she always choose loyalty over any of that, and that this is a game. That people will be thinking she will save Kanaga, but that this is a game, okay? That she will always choose loyalty first. Now, people will now start there saying, ah, you see, this taxi doesn't like this guy and all that. But meanwhile, just know that all the housemates are playing a game, okay? That's what you should just have on your, in your mind. So as to, because of your mental health, that's one thing you should have first. They are all playing a game. Nobody is exempted. That's what I want you guys to know. Meanwhile, guys, let me know in the comment section the pairs you think will be going two pairs actually that you think will be going home today. Okay, I will be viewing. I want to know. Okay, let me see the person that will get correctly. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because that's how you get the gist as they hot. I'll see you guys later.